Ah, my first ride abroad for ages. Warm weather, sun and the mountains. Let's be clear right from the beginning. No vot today. No Valley of the Tears that was in the plan. I headed west from Maspalomas, then north to Soria, where I had a nice lunch, then to Aldea and from there to Puerto de Mohan. And then a taxi ride to Costa Rica and back to Maspalomas. The wind was blowing from the east, 9 or 10 meters per second or 30 or 36 kilometers per hour. That's a nice way to start when it's hailing. And very, very nice to start riding in the first place. I had assembled the bike the day before, but the gears, they were dead. No response, no light. And yet I was quite sure I did everything right. Apparently not. Uh, so, I have had to find some assistance and for that I had to visit three bike shops before getting real help. Let me introduce the main quarters of free motion in Playa del Ingles. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, also yeah. YouTuber. <laughs> hey, you know why we are laughing? We are laughing because they solved this issue that I had with the gear. So, I can go to the Valley of the Tears tomorrow. GC500 is a classic of the road. And when you see that uh, factory on the left side, concrete factory or whatever, you know that after this next rapid uh, downhill, there will be a roundabout and then you take right hand side towards Soria. The sign says it's the end of the village Las Filipinas and on the tarmac it says something like a Strava segment starts here. So now we are doing the actual climb. What a view! This is the first hairpin and such a view already. It's a consistent climb on perfect roads. They say that it's lovely in the evenings when the peacocks come out in the orange groves on the way up. I haven't experienced that. I've been there three or four times and always uh, in the uh, midday heat. At least on this climb you don't have to be alone. Usually there are tens of others riding with you. Oh yeah, naturally these roads were not built only for the cyclists. So especially when going downhill, one has to keep eyes open. Done and dusted. The first part of the climb is done, so it was something like uh, six kilometers and uh, almost eight uh, percent in average of the gradient. And now I'm going to lunch. If I'd continue on the second part of the climb, I'd take the right you see now on the right hand side, but I'll do that a bit later.
Hola. It will be a long day in the sun. Yeah. Need to have some shade first. Yeah. I think that's better. Especially my my first also day here in in south uh, this uh, this winter, so okay, yeah. we'll get burnt easy. Yeah. <sighs> what was your first ride? Uh, no, yesterday uh, I arrived at noon or so, so I had time to do some three or so hours. Today it's a bit harder to the west and the valley of the tears and so. Okay, that's a long ride. It is, but it's a long day. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, that's good. Thank you.
I think that man must have had it hard time coming down on Serenity. I'll take right along GC200. It's some 21 kilometers to Aldea. The name of this Technicolor rock formation, Los Azulejos de Veneguera, means the fountain of tiles, because it is said to look like Andalusian glazed azulejo tiles pouring out of the mountainside. The green, red, orange and purple colors formed over 13 million years ago at the tip of a vast volcano when superheated steam and gas reacted with iron in the rock. At Los Azulejos, you're standing right on the rim of an ancient crater. While there are several other green patches of rock in the area, this is the biggest and most spectacular, and also the only one you can drive or ride to. La Aldea de San Nicolas seems to be a remote agricultural town or a village or a place not with anything fascinating for an occasional cycle tourist. If I just could speak Spanish, it would be nice to talk with locals. But no, not just a mere crossing to pass by for me. I needed to consider my options. The wind was high and it had shaken my bike quite forcefully when ascending to Aldea. That might be an issue when going down from the Vot Peak. Also, if it were headwind, I might not be able to do it at all, at least in the time frame before, before the sunset. I was almost two hours late in Aldea compared to my plan. So, I'd sit down for a moment and think a while what to do. I decided to visit Mirador de Barcon, a viewpoint of only some 10 to 11 kilometers away. While riding there I got a bit lost on the way and ended up on this beautiful cul-de-sac, Playa de Aldea. Moving on, the wide and smooth GC2 offered me such a headwind that even on a slight 6% gradient the wind made me to stop to put my foot on the ground for support. No, definitely not the VOT day today. The 
Balkan. It's not worth visiting. And neither is the grumpy kiosk salesman, a person worth trying to chat with. Here we are ascending from La Aldea towards Mogan, or I am, I hope that you share my pain. I hadn't realized when coming the other way how steep that part is. Kilometer after kilometer, 10 to 11 percent gradient, 9 at lowest and 15 at highest. All the mileage on my legs, this started to be painful. I'm very happy that I changed a 12 to 30 cassette to my bike before coming here. With combat cranks that means some decent cadence. I counted that I'll make it fine in time to Puerto de Mohan. There, I'll eat something, or if it seems that I've been too optimistic, I'll take a ferry or a taxi to get to Taurinto site. And those are needed because the old coastal GC500, it is still closed after rocks collapsed at the bend in 2017. And there are such walls and fences nowadays that it's not right. Just no can do. For motorized traffic, there is the highway with its tunnels. Bicycles are not allowed and tunnels are controlled. So it's definitely some other kind of form to get back to east. Now it's only or almost only downhill next 23 kilometers, just 100 meters of, of ascending upwards in the middle, but otherwise just to the ocean shore to Puerto de Mohan.
seems that uh, it's five o'clock and sun is to set at six o'clock, so no time to eat and to ride back to Maspalomas. So let's take a taxi. Rico. Thank you. And those, you know, the saddle is so high, it has to be like this. Thank mm -hmm. you. 